Hello, my name's David, and I'm going to show you how recurring entries work in Sage 50 Accounts 2015 version. You'll see on screen the bank area of the program, which is where the recurring entries uh, have been for many years. And if we come across to this and click on the recurring items button, there's a list of any recurring entries that have already been set up is on screen. If I just show you how we might add a new one, if we go to add, then we have various different transaction types. The first one is a bank or cash or credit card payment. And from the drop down list, you'll see that we've got a variety of those. And we'll actually come on to look at some of the different uh, buttons, uh, different types in, in a minute or two. The reference that comes up, uh, well, it defaults to being DD or STO. We might actually want to put something more useful in there such as uh, this will be an insurance payment. And I want this to recur every month. And I'm going to leave this uh, as perpetual by putting in a zero in there. If it was something like a higher purchase repayment that I knew that I had 24 payments to go, then I could put the number of required postings in there and it would simply stop when it got to the end. The next thing to enter is clearly the amount and the tax code. I need to also choose the bank account that it's going to come out of. So in this case my current account and also to choose my insurance nominal code. I say OK and that will then have added that to the list of recurring items. Now I mentioned that there are other things other than just bank payments that we can put in here and this is incredibly useful for recurring journal entries that we might want to include in our accounts. This might be for um, estimates of depreciation that we want to put through on a monthly basis or management charges, accruals or prepayments even can be put through in this way. So I'll just show an example of how we might put through a depreciation journal. So we would add the type, we would have a journal debit, And again, this will go through every month. And I'm going to start it from the beginning of the month. And my demo data is uh, rather historical, so I'm just putting in a different date there. And in this case, I'm going to say that I want it to work for 12 months, just for the year, and then I'll have a chance to review the amount. So I put my amount in there with a tax code of T9. I now just need to know the nominal codes. So my debit entry is going to go to depreciation charge in the profit loss account. And I then need to add the credit side of the journal. and make sure that I put in the same details there. Should help if I put the same date in there. Again, 12 postings. And this time, I'll need to choose my balance sheet depreciation account. So you'll see that I've got the same entry set up there with a journal credit and a journal debit ready to post. And in this way, when we go into the program, once the, uh, the date is passed, the next posting date, we'll be prompted to say you have recurring entries due. And that will be the same as bringing up this list of recurring entries to be posted, which will include our depreciation journal and any other 
recurring entries that are due to be put through and simply clicking on post will make those postings onto the system. So hopefully that's explained how recurring entries are made in SAGE. I hope you found that useful. If you have any comments regarding this then please leave them in the area below this video or check out some of our other SAGE 50 videos. Thank you.